One of the things that we get a lot of questions about is IFRA sheets. Um, IFRA is the International Fragrance Regulatory Association. Now, what they do is they basically say that this fragrance that you're using can be used at 1% in soaps, quarter of a percent in lotion, and so on. And a lot of people will contact us and they'll have uh, the strongest possible fragrance that they could ever get. And they say, well, you know, I need to make sure that this has an IFRA limit of 10% in soap, 4% in lotions, and I want to use it at 8% in deodorant. The way IFRA is broken out, and a lot of people don't understand this, is it's a rinse on, rinse off application. So if it's going into a product like a shampoo or a soap, that's, you know, you're going to put the product on you and then you're going to wash it off. That's called a rinse off application. The fragrance isn't actually staying in contact with the skin for long, long exposure times. Okay. Now, if this is put into a lotion, and now someone's putting it on a lotion and they're putting it on their skin and they're going to wear it the rest of the day, that's why the limits are a lot lower. So keep in mind when you're actually looking for certain products that if you want the fragrance to be super strong, you're going to have to watch your IFRA limits on certain products. Um, it's kind of one of those things that you can't have one without the other. So if you have a very super strong fragrance, your IFRA limits are going to be lower um, in your products. Again, it's a stronger fragrance, so you should be able to use less, but it's something to keep in, in mind as you're going through the evaluation process. Um, and rinse on, rinse off applications. So if it's actually staying on the skin, longer exposure, if it's a rinse off application like a soap where it's only gonna be on the skin for a minute, of course you can use a higher percentage. So as you're going through the developmental stages of your products, keep that in mind. IFRA is the International Fragrance Regulatory Association. They give us a lot of the standards on what we can use on fragrances and what we can't. Um, so you'll definitely be familiar with that name.